My name is Zoran Klibarda. I am Associate Professor of Geology at Indiana University Northwest. As a part of our summer workshop on dune dynamics, we would also look at the composition of beach gravels along Indiana coast. We have several samples of natural gravels that were not influenced by anthropogenic or human activities. We'll compare those with some gravels that we'll collect in parts of Indiana coast that were nearby those big steel mills that may influence gravel composition and we'll also examine gravel that's from the parts of the coast that were nourished to protect beach erosion. We are here at Ogden Dunes, the central portion of Indiana coastline. It's about 15 miles east of Mount Baldy and it's about 15 miles from Whiting which is the western portion of Indiana coast. This sector of Indiana shoreline is separated from the rest of shoreline by Burns Harbor which is to the east and Gary Harbor makes it western end. And we'll see what kinds of gravels we find on this beach. What we see here on Ogden Dunes beaches is mostly this natural gravel, flat pebbles of Devonian shale siltstones. They make majority of gravels, and this is how they look like. We see some limestones. They are li less common than, than shales, but they are there. We see a few granites that may be natural. Granites generally come in small quantities, less than 5% or so in this natural gravel. But we also see some anthropogenic limestones. These holes represent limestone that was used in steel making and then ended up as a byproduct of steel making as a slag that somehow ended up in lake water and was brought on beaches. We are here at Vihala Beach in Whiting and we're going to look at gravel, beach gravels here that are much more different than in other parts of Indiana shoreline. So let's look at some gravel. These are natural gravels, very rare here at this part of Lake Michigan shoreline. What's most abundant are these pieces of chert. Chert is rare, seldom makes more than 5% of natural gravel around State Park, around Michigan City, in those eastern parts of Indiana coast. Here, in west portion of, of the shoreline, these pieces make up 80% of all, all gravel, somewhere al al along those lines. We believe that these are Lake Phil brought in when they were building Indiana Harbor over there. The rest of samples are all anthropogenic. Some of them construction like this piece of brick, some of these concrete that is part of the buildings or that was part of the pavement. And these are industrial byproducts. These are pieces of slag and this is limestone that was used for making steel and discarded after some lime was taken out of it. During our 2012 Dune Dynamics workshop, we would be examining several different samples of gravel collected from various areas of Indiana coast. We would be looking at composition of natural gravels and then compare it with some gravels that were influenced by anthropogenic or man-made particles that were part of sediment of, of beach sediment today. We would also examine some of the gravels that was nourished to protect beaches and this should be interesting exercises so I hope we'll see you there this summer.